Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day. We thank you for allowing us to be in this chapel to hear another message. I pray that you allow me to give this message to the poor today. I pray that you allow me to allow them to take this message in these days of our lives. And we ask this all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please stand and join us singing Everlasting God. the distinct pleasure of introducing one of your own to come speak to you in chapel. Saki so Hayward came to Fork Union in the ninth grade, and Lord willing, in the creek don't rise, as they say, he will walk across that stage at the end of May this year as a graduate of Fork Union Military Academy. 
He's kept himself busy while he's here. I just was thinking about all, this, all the things that he has done. He has served as drum major for the band. Of course, he was playing the drums here today. He leads us in prayers for chapel service as a religion officer. He's also a member of the track team uh, doing the long and triple jump. Um, so he's, he's, he's a pretty busy guy, but he found enough time to put a message together that he felt was important enough to share with his brothers. And I, I'll just share right before I introduce him, for about 10 minutes before the service started here today, we could not get that projector to work. And um, you'll see why that was going to be a big problem when he gives his message. But he was willing to go ahead and do it without that projector. He felt that strongly about this message, guys. So please welcome Zeke Hayward. First, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Chaplain Vincent for allowing me to come up here and speak to you guys today. So today, I'm going to talk to you about brotherhood. So for the definition of brotherhood, I found that it means the belief that all people should act equally towards one another, regardless of the difference in nationality, creed, ethnicity, and etc. Raise your hand if you've seen this movie. Fair number of people, right? OK? So during this time in this movie, High school, high school football was the biggest thing that you could look forward to in Alexandria, Virginia. In the movie, they described football as being a way of life. They said that it was even bigger than Christmas Day. So in 1971, a black school and a white school was shut down, and all the students from that high school was integrated into the school known as T.C. Williams High School due to a federal mandate of integration. T.C. Williams, better known as the Titans, will become an interracial football team thanks to the help of Denzel Washington, who plays Coach Boone in the movie. Now, we have these two football players right here, Gary Butier and Julius Campbell. They're both the starting linebackers for the Titans. They both are elected captains. They were captains of their old football team. Now, these two do not get along at first, you know, it's been a time of racism. Everyone, everyone hates each other. It, they hate him because he's black, or I hate him because he's white. That's all that's happening when they first get there for preseason of, a, of football. But throughout the movie, because of Coach Boone and because of the players on the team, they were able to build a bond, better known as brotherhood, as they describe it in the movie. So throughout the season, they, they go on an undefeated record. And it's the last playoff game. And if they win this game, they get to go to the state championship football game, the first time for this high school. And so better known, these two come together as brothers and win the football game. So the whole team is going out. And Gary Poutier, who's the guy right there, decides he doesn't want to go out with the team. He has some relationship problems because of he was being with the team who was interracial. So he says, I decide that I want to go by myself. So he's going on a joy ride throughout the city, and he sees all his fans. They're all chanting them on and on, and he's happy. He's in the moment. But unfortunately, he gets into a car wreck. And when he gets into this car wreck, when they come back from surgery, he's paralyzed on his left side. They say he's going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of life. So he's not able to be in this championship football game that he worked so hard for. He worked with his brothers throughout every practice, throughout every game to get to this. And so now I want to show you a movie clip from the movie, seeing what happens when he's in the hospital. Only Ken's allowed in here. Alice, are you blind? Don't you see the family resemblance? That's my brother. Oh, oh man. You think I look banged up? You should see my Camaro. Man. I sure am sorry, man. I should have been there with you. What are you talking about? You would have been in the bed right next to me. You 
You can't be hurt like this. You, you Superman. I was afraid of you, Julius. I don't want to what I was afraid of. And I don't know, I was only hating my brother. I tell you what, though. Um, when all this is over, and you're gonna move out the same neighborhood together. Okay, and um, we'll get old, we'll mm -hmm. get fat. And ain't gonna be all this black white between us. <laughs> Left side. Now, there's something really important about that scene that really hit me. The nurse said, only kin are allowed in here. Brutier said, Alice, are you blind? Don't you see the family resemblance? That's my brother. And you also saw when he sat down and they talked about how he should have been there for the crash. Gary Brutier said one thing. I was afraid of you, Julius. I only saw that, I only saw what I was afraid of. And now I know that I was only hating my brother. Psalms 133, one says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Now, something really important to me is brotherhood. When we come to this school, yes, we have the five core values. They say how we should have discipline, respect, integrity, faith, character. But I think another thing that they really express here is brotherhood. This summer, my, my uncle got into a stroke. He had a stroke. He was paralyzed on his left side. And so he was in a wheelchair. He was bed rested for most of the summer. And come to find out, my uncle dies on July 13th, 2015. So, when he dies, he had a memorial service. And of course, I, I went to a military school, so I wanted to be in a memorial service. So, of course, you have to have two people to do the memorial service. So, I had my, one of my mom's friends was in the military, and he decided that he would volunteer to do it. But that's not the same as having one of your brothers here who you who you're living with for nine months. I had someone who graduated from here take their time out of their summer. I didn't even ask. They, they messaged me that, that day before the memorial service and said, do you have someone to help you? I will drive down to North Carolina to come help you with that memorial service. Just to let you know, this former cadet took seven hours to drive from North Carolina. To drive to North Carolina. Seven hours. He didn't, he didn't have to do it. He chose to do it out of the kindness of his heart because he knows that this brotherhood is lasting outside of the school. Now, for the seniors who graduate, yes, we can pick fight with each other while we're here, but always remember the brotherhood that we have here. Remember what we went through. <coughs> We've been here for four years throughout the senior class. Four years we've been in this school. Four years we, we went through this school. And in four months, we'll be walking across that stage and be able to say that we made it. For, for all of you who are not seniors, I want you to take out of this to remember this brotherhood. Remember the seniors, the juniors, the sophomores, the freshmen, even the middle schools. Remember what you can do for each other, not here, but outside of this school. Now, when I started my chapter presentation, there was one quote that I had that really hit me. That quote is, Brotherhood is not just a Bible word. Out of comradeship can come and will come the happy life for all. Remember this brotherhood that you have at this school and take it outside of this school. Everyone please show me a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to take this time thanking you for the brotherhood that we have at this school. 
I want to thank you for allowing us to get through this school, not just because we're able to, but because we have our brothers here encouraging us and lifting us up during bad times. I pray that you allow the seniors to stay strong for these last four months of school. I pray that you allow us to stay in contact as we graduate because we all here are brothers. We ask you to keep us lifted throughout this day and we just ask this all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.